Hey, 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 party people, what's good with you? Your boy, BQ. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel, and it's still YouTube month for the Impact Lounge brand. So if it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Already hit the 5,500 subscriber, excuse me, milestone. Hoping to hit 5,600 uh, within the next few days before the month is up. So please hit that subscribe button if you want to be a part of the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fans. So last night, I sent out a tweet and I probably I, I ended up deleting the tweet because it was my my weekly complaining about OVE losing tweet. And um, after the one, two, three, I stopped the show and then I, <laughs> I watched the rest of the show this morning. And then I saw that Madman Fulton attacked OVE after the match. And so one of the cool things about the not having a fan, you know, fans in the crowd there is that we can actually hear them in the ring. And if you know what the previous impact audio issues when the the sound was pretty compressed in general. You couldn't hear anything they were saying most episodes. So this time, you know, when they have dialogue in the ring, we can hear it. And Madman Fulton is saying he's done. All we do, do is lose. So I was happy because we're finally getting some kind of movement on this. And as I've pointed out many times, you know, the OVE losing streak is not just over a couple months. It's been honestly been the last year and a half. And, uh, you know, I said the same thing with Rohi Raju. Like, I get that you're losing, you're losing, but at some point there has to be some development in that or you just, there's a fine line because you keep doing that and then they just become a, a loser. We, they're viewed, they're seen as a loser, you know? And I think most of us, not all of us, many people thought Madman Fulton would break off, but a lot of us thought they were just going to get a new leader. And, you know, I made the obvious bold prediction that I thought Madison Rain would actually lead them since she's from Ohio. I know it was very, you know, out of left field, but I, I felt like I was, you know, picking up some things she was saying on commentary. And even if you go back and watch the match this week of Dave Chris versus uh, crazy Steve, you can see where she's almost deferring every time, you know, they talk about a leader, you know, she's like, well, why don't you be the leader, Josh? And she's, she's almost pushing it off. So I still feel like I, I see that, but you know, that's probably me looking too much into it. And that's why I often say I don't really like the fantasy book because then I don't like to be disappointed when something that most likely won't happen doesn't happen. So anyway, what we got here was Man Man Fulton um, basically he didn't really attack, semi-attacked OVE and breaking off from the group. Um, this wasn't them disbanding, you know, the three of them. This was Fulton uh, appearing to quit. And what I I guess what I like about it is that they're appearing to keep Jake and Dave together, which is really what I want. I just want to see them more competitive as a team. Um, but what I what I don't like is um, that Madman Fulton has also been losing. You know, like they're the picture was portrayed that that Dave Dave and Jake were the weak links of the group, but Madman Fulton loses every week as well. You know, he's lost several times at Rhino. I think he's like 0-3 versus him. And uh, he lost to, I mean, he lost to Hernandez. You know what I mean? He shouldn't even have been in the world title number one contender tournament because he hasn't won any matches in months. And, um, you know, he lost to Ken Shamrock, obviously, at the uh, whatever pay-per-view that was. So he's been losing, too. So that that's one thing I'm not, like, real crazy about. I could see them, you know, the lose the, the losing getting to them and them breaking up. But for Fulton to come off like those guys are the weak link, I'm gonna break off, you know, like that's that's something I didn't really care for and I didn't think was totally accurate. Um the problem too with not kind of going the route of giving a of a giving them a leader is that we're now we're not really repackaging them. Are they we just breaking off to where Dake and I'm sorry, Jake and Dave are just OVE the tag team again, you know? And the other thing that kind of sucked was that when Sammy Callahan attacked these guys, they didn't retaliate. You know, when the next episode kicked off, those guys should have attacked Sammy in the ring. You know what I mean? I would have. And when Sammy was wrestling Elgin this week and he was selling the ankle, like I thought selling the ankle from two, three weeks ago was a little far fetched. You know, I think it was about three weeks ago. You know what I mean? That was a little far fetched for me. If if OVE were to like attack him during the match or something along those lines, like that would make a lot more sense to me. You know, for, as far as Sammy selling it. But um, this isn't really about Sammy. It's about OVE. A lot of people are talking about uh, possibly seeing Fulton as a part of a new decay. Like 
I think that's really fantasy booking. And I know many of you think that. Um, I don't. I can't see that happening. I don't see how they can create that. The story with Crazy Steve right now is more Joey Ryan, you know, con, uh, dealing with Joey Ryan. It's not uh, OVE, you know what I mean? They were just a bump in the road for him. So, uh, you know, give me your thoughts in the comments about this whole thing with OVE. And are they just kind of pushing Madman Fulton out of this? And then, you know, the Chris brothers are just going to go back to a tag team that's not winning. You know, if you're going to break them up and Fulton does his own thing, you know, you, you got to take the Chris brothers and do something with them, too. They just can't go back to a team that's not winning. You know, so in that case, I do think they need a leader um, added to the mix or a manager. And of course, Nevea is the obvious option but what they're what they're doing with her and jessica havoc right now i don't see that being where they go with it so um i'm curious and excited to see where they continue to go with this uh because i do like obe a lot and you know you guys a lot of you know i'm a big um dave fan actually uh more so than jake so let's see what happens with Fulton and OVE, there was a lot of things that I just thought could have been better. You know, you could have closed that chapter with Sammy a little bit better and not make them look like losers. You know what I mean? Because as I said, <clears throat> excuse me, top of the video, there's only so long you can have them losing before they just come off like losers. So thanks for swinging by. <clears throat> oh, good Lord. I hate coughing on video. So that's uh, signifying it's time for me to wrap it up. Uh, thanks for checking out the Impact Lounge. As always, and I'm out. Peace.